Hi Taurus and a very warm welcome to your September 2019 horoscope. Well compared to other months of the year this is a relatively quiet one astrologically with not huge events happening every few days. Jupiter is square to Neptune and in that square energy is an opportunity for you to go beyond what you think is possible. You may have certain beliefs, I can do this, I can accomplish that, but this is encouraging you to just go beyond anything you can imagine. So let's say you want abundance, you want that partner in your life, you want good health. It's about opening yourself up to really believing Jupiter, believing and Neptune that this can happen, going beyond all your old boundaries. And once you can believe and feel something as though it's already happened, you'll be amazed how quickly you'll manifest it into the physical reality of your life. So that's the exciting aspect that's going on all month. Now on the 14th of the month, we've got a full moon happening here in your 11th house. A lot of activity this month in the 5th and the 11th houses, especially for the first couple of weeks. So the full moon resonating with Neptune there for you in your 11th house. This is shining a light on you, tuning into your friendships, your social circle. It may show you that maybe it's time to leave an organisation or, or something you've been involved with for a while, just to let it go for a while. It may bring to you the dream tribe, the dream people you've been looking for. It's also an opportunity to dream big with Neptune and the full moon in the 11th house, to dream big not only for yourself, but also for our world, humanity as a whole, because we're all feeling how much more connected we are than ever before. So for the first couple of weeks of the month, huge amount going on in this fifth house. Taurus, this is wonderful for your creativity. Wonderful to do anything that you enjoy, maybe even start a business doing it. It's great for being in business for yourself. It's wonderful for remembering to have some fun and joyfulness in your life. It's with Mars there all month. This is great for doing anything with young people, but also good for doing anything that brings out the youthfulness in you, the child within, the playfulness in you. That's why this is the creative house. So you're developing your unique gifts here, which is why it's the house of self-employment. And there's a big focus upon all of this blossoming out of you. It's also the house of your heart, opening your heart, coming from your heart. And the more you do that, the more joy you experience in your friendships and the people around you on a wider level. On the 15th of the month, we've got Venus and Mercury coming into this sixth house. On the 24th, we've got the Sun. And on the 28th, a new moon. So the second two weeks of the month, a huge focus on the sixth house. And by the way, with the fifth house, this is great for romance. Could be a partner, or it could just be you romancing yourself and feeling good about you. And here we're getting to work. This is new beginnings in the work situation. You might get a job offer, a promotion, some good news. You might decide I want to change job, change direction in my work. It's really good for a new beginning as far as your health is concerned. Exercise, diet, rest. Good time for researching maybe some new modalities in health, or even focusing on the healer within you that is also very strong. Uranus in your sign, so many things changing for you, Taurus. Keep breaking out. Don't be afraid to take some risks. 
now is the time to go for it. I wish you a wonderful month. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Bye for now.